Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Now I know many of you guys are looking forward to the update on the Amiga Core which will bring us hard drive support as well as some other features. So a special thank you out to Mazamars and the guys at Amiga Vision. Uh, I just want to say guys if you're not subscribed to the channel then a subscription and a like is super appreciated. It really is the best way you can help the channel. I'm really enjoying my analog pocket dock because it's allowing me to capture stuff directly like over here. We will have a look at some of the handheld features. I will go over to uh, me filming and playing the analog pocket but the Amiga core is just getting better and better there's a few different images you can get I've got a different image for the front end this time and I'm really really enjoying it but the big thing is we've got mouse and keyboard support so here I am trying cannon fodder I'm playing it really really badly but the mouse support does work now some of the stuff you're seeing in here will be improved when this is released to the public so don't take everything here as uh, as a final version of what you guys will get so as you can see some of the screen uh, is cut off on the left that can be adjusted i can do that i can do that manually by going in there so there'll be, a, there'll be a lot of changes that will happen but the core is running fantastically i am playing it even though i'm playing it badly uh, but cannon fodder is a fun game it's playable you can use a mouse and here i am using the keyboard and what shall i put my name in can you take a guess <laughs> pcn so the keyboard is working the mouse is working with a dock and i'm glad i've got the dock because well i can try that out now where as previously i couldn't Going over to handheld mode, we've now got an on-screen keyboard. And what's really good as well is I actually forgot that on Amiga when you press the delete key, it kind of took you back to, I guess, the desktop. But on the OS, the, the OSK, the, the on-screen keyboard, which you've got now. So once you launch a game, if you want to exit the game, rather than quitting the core or doing anything like that, you can just press the select button. I can't remember what it's called on the analog pocket, but if you've got a traditional Xbox controller, where select would be? You know, not the analog button, not the start button, the select button and it'll bring up the on-screen keyboard pressing delete will then bring you back to the front end and you've also now got a save feature inside the core which works really really well uh, it's not a safe state core i found out a hard way uh, the, the hard way now if the game supports save something like eye of the behold beholder like an rpg or something something that supports saving normally like the normal way so what you can do is when you leave the game uh, via uh, like for example we're playing it in, in handheld mode we bring up the on-screen keyboard if you're playing it via dock you just simply press delete but over here when you bring up the keyboard and press delete it will create a save so you can continue the game the, this cause really really maturing it's looking really really good hopefully it'll be with you guys soon again it depends on how busy mazamars and the guys at amiga vision are but i'm very very sure this is gonna come out soon and guys this is such a brilliant core amiga such a great system and like mazamars uh, has just done such a great job uh, with this the guys at amiga vision make absolutely fantastic front ends you can find games that you would have forgotten about because you see a picture when you're playing about with the front end so guys that's really it for this video wanted to show some of the new features that are coming it's likely that by the time the calls release there'll be additional features and any of the issues that i may have experienced will be gone that's really it guys i'll see you guys in the next video this is pixel cherry ninja out